Well, this is a titanium blade. Pretty sweet. Hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at some blades. This is a little bit different than most, most of my tool reviews because I'm always doing DeWalt. This is Milwaukee. I've only ever done one other Milwaukee review in our entire tool review life. I think we have about 170 or 80 videos up now and I've only done one Milwaukee tool review and that was on the stapler. So make sure you check that out. This is a 20 piece oscillating tool kit that I picked up at Home Depot. It was 48 bucks Canadian and I just couldn't not buy it. Now, the cool thing about this kit is on the back here, it tells you what it'll fit and it will fit DeWalt. It'll fit the Rockwell, the Rigid, the Makita, the Craftsman, Ryobi, Porta Cable, Dremel, Fiend, Bosch, but not the Starlock for Bosch, which is pretty epic and we will be doing a review on that as well coming up in the future. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell, and definitely leave some comments down below, guys. So let's open this up and take a look at what we get for 48 bucks from Home Depot for this sweet kit. All right. Got some scissors back here. All right, let's get into this. So in case you're wondering why I got Milwaukee, I am currently about to do a bunch of reviews on a bunch of Milwaukee tools that, you know, it's just time guys. It's time to get into it, to show the red, not the yellow. <laughs> so there's a lot of cool stuff that's coming up pretty soon here. They don't make this easy to get into. All right, so first blade, let's take a look. It is a wood blade. Very nice, very sharp, sweet. And then we've got, they're super greasy. These are wood as well. We've got those three. This one is a wood as well. I really like these blades. They are very nice to use. This kit also comes with a bag. It's pretty nice. I thought this would have been a lot easier to open. You know, like pull tabs and all that kind of stuff, but it's not. So this one is a metal. This is a titanium blade. Pretty sweet. Now I was looking at these blades, comparing them to the uh, DeWalt blades. So there's another titanium in here. I'm not gonna bother opening it just cause it's taking too long. But let's get into the sanding paper here. I can't believe that you get all this stuff for 50 bucks. It's, it's pretty sweet. So they give you the sanding pad and then sandpaper. Let's see how many pieces. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve pieces of sandpaper and different grits as well. We've got 240. So it looks like four of the 240 and then some 120s. We've got Looks like four of the 120s. And then the 60, uh, is that 60 or 80? No, four of the 80s. So that's what they're giving us here. That's a pretty sweet deal. We'll leave links down below. Oh, look at this. Look at this, this kit says free blade pouch included. All right. I'm not lying to you. 
That's what it says. But I went to open it, and it's empty. <laughs> it's totally empty. It didn't fall on the ground. I'm not losing it. No, it's totally empty. Somebody has jacked my free pouch. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I didn't even realize. All right, well that sucks. I guess I'm gonna have to, I don't know, I can't return it. I've decimated it, guys. Like it's just totally decimated. So, no pouch for this guy. Um, yeah, okay. With the uh, Milwaukee blades here, I wanna show you something. Now, this is a DeWalt blade and it is so similar to the Milwaukee blade and how they they are they're identical in their punch out here so how they connect the only difference is and I'll get a pencil so I can just kind of show it a little easier the only difference is Milwaukee has these little tiny narrow points which I know is gonna be really really hard to see have these little narrow points see how this oval comes along and then it narrows right there if that wasn't like that it would fit perfectly on the DeWalt because the DeWalt is straight cut see that and so these you can see the difference just that little taper I'm considering taking a grinder and just smoothing that out and see what happens with the blade because these do fit on the DeWalt but they're not the greatest now I'm gonna grab a multi-tool got one here on the wall and I'm gonna show you the DeWalt how it hooks in okay very very easy and it closes okay completely closes now, the Milwaukee fits, but it doesn't close all the way. Now, I, I have used it like this. I've done a bunch of cutting and really, really tried to get that blade to snap out, and it wouldn't. It would not come out. There are some attachments that go on the bottom here, so DeWalt can use multiple different blades. And different styles and I think that's what they're intending for this to work on I haven't tried it yet just because I you know if I can't use this on my DeWalt with this quick change I'm not even gonna bother using them on this tool it's just it's such a hassle to use that little screw on nub on the bottom that comes with this I've never never used it uh, it's just a pain in the butt so if I'm really gonna use these blades I'll just use it on this Milwaukee here and we got a review coming up with this guy but as you can see you know this quick change here these fit in no problem all right you just tighten that down and it's in there no problem Okay, while we're doing this, let's see if the DeWalt fits. I haven't tried that yet. Look at that. See, because DeWalt doesn't have the uh, those tapers, and it doesn't even matter on, on this tool because nothing is here anyhow. It's just dependent on these little nubs okay there's four on this side and four on this side so that the DeWalt fits on there perfectly that will not come off so DeWalt fits on Milwaukee no problem and Milwaukee doesn't fit on DeWalt perfectly with this style all right so something to think about these Milwaukee's, I'm going to get into it in the review, but I'm still playing with them, seeing if I, if I really like this tool or not. So, and this is not the fuel. This is just the M18. All right. 
All right, guys, so this is uh, mostly about the blades, the package that, that I got. Pretty cool. If I can find links, I will leave them down below. I'll probably be able to find a Home Depot link. But if I can find some Amazon ones, I'll leave that down below as well. And uh, yeah, leave some comments. Let me know what you think, how these cut. Do you like them? Because there are so many blades out there right now between DeWalt, Milwaukee, Bosch. You know, they all have great blades. There's obviously different levels. So these ones here, they're decent blades. Um, and I don't really want to burn through them testing them because, you know, they're expensive. So I want to keep them for myself and, and all that. But, but they are good blades. You know, they're Milwaukee. You can't go wrong. So leave some comments down below. Subscribe, hit that notify bell. Keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.